And then another thing you could do for your woman, give her a bath. Something that she can't do that's easy, bro, and that's wash her back. Got to give her that fruit bath. When you give her that bath, man, you make sure you wash that back, bro. Do your thing with that woman, man, wash her back. Oh, yes, Lord. I think he going to scrub the fuck out her back tonight. When you appreciate what you have, you have all that you need. Yeah, they take a note. And that's why it's the helpline. Wow, that really resonates with me. You're yes, right. Lord. I'm a big resonate out you. <laughs> who need to call me and talk to me? Hey, what's going on? For those of you that don't know who I am, my name's Kevin Gates. This is the Kevin Gates Helpline. This is my co-host and best friend, OG Booby Black. What we're going to be doing today is taking calls from listeners all over the world that's having problems solving some of life's issues. Can we get, can we get quiet on set? You're quite on set. I just hear people say that when I'm on set. Say, Booba, see who we got on the line. All right, we got Alicia from Oklahoma. Click in, let's see what she's talking about. Alicia, what's going on with you? You on the Kevin Gates helpline with Kevin Gates and OG Booba Black. Hi, I am 25 years old. I'm in just about earlier this year. I was diagnosed with the G muscular dystrophy. And so um, over time, you will be wheelchair um, bound, I guess you can say. Um, so my question to you guys today is being a 20 something year old woman, how do I go on through life with this type of this type of condition? It's been a little difficult. Alicia. Yes. Yeah, my arm was amputated and me myself, I never cared about what it was that people thought about me. You know what I'm saying? It was the love that I had for myself that brought me through a lot. And that's what you should have as well. That love alone that you have for yourself where you could you could face anybody with any type of situation that you have going on. Yes. I mean, also, I had a friend close to me who's been my friend for years. And she recently told me like, the reason why I'm having this returning your phone calls or the reason why I haven't... Um, you know, been coming around like that is because it's hard for me to see you the way that you are. So I feel like I do love myself, but I feel like also I'm losing people along the way. And that is, that kind of gets to me sometimes. I don't look at it like you're losing people. You're just going through a shedding phase because you got you to gotta shed those people so the greater people could come into your life. Anything that you shed, you know, you gain. Every loss ain't a loss and every gain ain't a gain. That's been my new motto lately. Because I could gain a bunch of bullshit bitch-ass friends. Or I could shed and lose a bunch of bullshit bitch-ass friends that draining my energy. Now I got more energy for myself. You're right. And, and when you being the best version of yourself that you could be, you're going to attract the best. You know, and I, I like I say, I, I try to reverse everything and look at it from a positive perspective instead of looking at it from a negative perspective. Because that's the easiest thing. It is just about changing your perspective. And once you change your perspective, that's when miracles happen because you see them. You got to go forward and look forward. And it's not going to be easy. It's going to be difficult sometimes, but you got to keep pushing. Like, that's why my habits have come. Like, I don't say I'm about to go to the gym. No, I get to go to the gym. I get to drive a car. I get to do these things. I get to do these things. And that add the, the appreciation to it. When I say I got to, that that that. That, that's draining the energy. I got to do this shit. No, I get to do this shit. Mm -hmm. yes. I get to go to the Kevin Gates helpline and help people every day. I get to do this. Yes. You, know, and you, you know, you got to train yourself because practice don't make you perfect. It only make you better. You're right. You, you look, you have a beautiful rest of your day and blessings on your journey, beloved. All yes, right, Alicia, don't give up. Keep going. Thank you, Booby. Thank you so much. No, nah, I like her, Alicia. I like her because she... She had that positive attitude. Mm -hmm. See, she receptive yeah. to this good tutelage that I'm imputing into her. Yeah, she writing it on the calendar and yeah, everything. Yeah, these fruitful you know, teachings. She yeah, putting it know. on the calendar. Say, but like I told you, was you know, like I told you, this right here is totally different. They can't get this in an encyclopedia. At all. And we giving them good game for a lane. Exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, cue them up. I'm about to go... I'm about to go fishing. I'm about to go drop that old fishing pole in that water. Big fish in a small pond. Yes, Lord. Booby, who we got on the line? Oh, man, we got Steven from Georgia. Click him in. Steven, what's up? You on the phone with Kevin Gates and OG Booby Blake. <laughs> what's up, Kevin? How you 
What's up? Oh, nothing. We just cooling. What's going on, baby? Uh, feeling good, looking great. You know how it is. Um, so basically, um, I'm kind of in between two relationships right now. Uh, I'm a grad student, and I'm trying to become a teacher. So, you know, I got dreams. I got some ambitions. But one of them, you know, I got a lot of chemistry with, but she feels like she's at a dead-end job, so she really ain't going anywhere. Versus this other girl who, you know, she's in college. She's finishing up her degree. But, like, we don't really have any chemistry with each other. But, you know, she's into me and, like, all that, like, generational wealth stuff that comes into mind when I think about her. So I really don't really know what to do in regards to, like, making a decision and actually, like, investing my time into one person versus another. Do they both know about each other? No. I think you ought to be honest with both of them and tell them what you got going on. And that's going to show you who you're dealing with because once you tell a person the truth, if they don't respect it, then... They not for you. But I noticed once I start telling the truth, I really start having my way. I'm not telling you to go just be a big player or anything, but if you're having trouble making a decision, I think you ought to tell both of the women what's going on. I mean, shit, women respect honesty. I'd rather you hate me for who I am than love me for who I'm not. I am what I am. What I'm not, I'll never be. Exactly. But you know, ain't nothing wrong with, you know, just dealing with people sometimes. You know what I'm saying, Steven? Just got to know how to deal with them. You know, and it's not always bad that they have more than one person want to deal with you. It comes at us all the time as men. Just got to handle the situation. And like Kevin all the, said, all the girls think I'm pretty nobody. flat for a break, guy. Eh? Yeah, like Kevin said, we don't want to hurt nobody, Steven. We just want them to understand so they could they could understand us better. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think that was like before I like truly said like, okay, I want something serious. Was that like I got to be okay like by myself before anything else? All right, man, we're gonna um we're gonna stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? You you keep in touch, you heard me? You know what I'm saying? Handle the situation the best way that you can handle it. And just take our advice from what we're giving you, you heard me? Uh, you know, you'll be straight. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much for yeah, helping me and helping you. so many others. All thank right. you guys so much. All right, thank you, brother. All right, thank you, man. All right, take care. In his mind, those two probably make up the perfect one. But I look at it like this. If it's not adding to me, then it's subtracting. subtracting. So, and if it's subtracting, hey. But what I love, what he said was, he said, I'm good by myself. I want to yeah. be good by myself first. Definitely. And I was like, yeah, he got his head on straight. Hey, Booby, let's see who we got on the line right now. We got Dino from California. Dino. Click him in and see what he's talking about. Dino, you on the phone with Kevin Gates and OG Booby Black. Wow. What's good, What's Kevin? What's up, Dino? Hey, my question is, so you probably been in a polyamorous relationship. So how you keep your girls in line? Nah, that's that's more like pimping to me. I mean, I don't keep nobody in line because I, I feel like a human being is not a possession. Me, I look at it like I'm being honest with whatever woman I'm dealing with at the time. I tell the truth. I'm not trying to be in a have five or ten women at one time and be this big player because that's very draining because my energy is sacred. But I do believe that honesty is the best policy. Saying I'm not trying to keep nobody in line because I don't look at anybody like a dog that I'm training to go fetch or anything like that. I want a woman that's going to hold me accountable and going to make me hold myself accountable because if I hold myself accountable, self-accountability is the best thing in life. And any woman that see me holding myself accountable, they're going to begin to hold themselves accountable also if they're a good woman. If not, then, you know, our relationship is kind of productive and I need to vacate the premises. Like I say, I don't want a wife or a girlfriend. I want a best friend. I don't want the title. I want somebody that outside of sex, we are best friends. A lot of times men based the relationships on just sex. And when you have a relationship and it's just sex, it begins to get boring. But if you're in a relationship with all of the qualities like a best friend, because you and your best friend, y'all not having sex. Y'all just love each other for the energy. You know, y'all love each other for the vibe. We could speak freely around each other. We we best friends. Real talk. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a very sexual person, you know. I'm, I'm very, very sexual, but I also, I crave the things that's outside of sex that makes a relationship great. I want a woman that can make me be a better man yeah. that's going to provoke me to be the best version of me. That's, that's the kind of woman I want. I want a woman that want me. She don't need me. Yeah. And I don't need her, we, I, but I want her. We want each other because a wise woman told me that to want somebody is more powerful than to need them. So I want to I want somebody, and I want that person to want me. 
Yeah, that, that's how she made me feel like. Like, she made me feel like I could be a better man, you know? Start messing around with all these other girls. You know, when you find somebody with substance and stability, I mean, that's the best of both worlds. I mean, and everything else, we can make it better. We can enhance it. Hey, you helped me out a lot, man. I'm, I'm about to talk to her about that, have that conversation. Yeah. Thanks for the help, man. Thanks. Oh, yes, sir. No question. That's what I'm going to do, babe. Peace on your journey, brother. Thanks. You too. All right, All right beloved. But you know, we helped him out, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ate him. I assisted. ain't no telling, but you, because you know what he kept saying? This what he, I kept catching him saying this. Yeah, bro, because um, I be trying to talk to her and she changing. And she changing. So it's something he worried about. Feeling you know real on the creek. Yeah, he's worried, yeah, he worried about something. But he yeah. tried to be hard at the same time, but he a lover boy. That's that masculinity. I'm a lover. Yes, indeed. I'm a big old lover. So am I. Yes, Lord. I'm talking Mr. About love, I'm yes, on. Indeed. Shabba. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching the Kevin Gates Helpline. This is Kevin Gates, and this is my co host, OG Booby Black. And let me leave you with this We don't judge because our doors end up leading to the same place. I love you all. I like that last one. Our doors end up leading to the same place. I want to make music with her. And I want to make music with Adele, Dua Lipa. That's going to happen with Adele, because you, you always speak on it. It's unspoken. But in the universal law, which governs all events, we're going we gonna to co-create together. In this life or the next, I will have my visions, my vengeance. <laughs> <laughs>